I'm going to show you how to make a treat for your feet. Hey, I'm Sarah, and I don't know about you guys, but when the weather gets hot, I pretty much live in flip-flops. All day or all day, every day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to spice up your flip-flops. I'm showing you quite a few different designs that you can easily do this summer. Hopefully there's a little something for everyone. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. I purchased my flip-flops from Michaels and Target for two to three dollars a pair. You can also get some inexpensive flip-flops from Old Navy, Dollar Stores, JCPenney, and probably many other places. This first DIY flip-flop design is definitely one of my favorites because it's so cute and it's definitely appropriate for people of all ages. To make flip-flops like these, you'll need some embroidery floss, glue, and a pair of scissors. What I'm going to do is start with some heavy duty glue. I'm using E6000. I know some of you will probably use hot glue, that's okay. I'm gluing a little section at the beginning of the flip flop here, and then I'm going to just stick down the end of the embroidery floss. Now I'm going to wrap it around and make sure it stays on there securely. Keep wrapping until you have enough on and then you can cut, glue it, and add another color if you wish. I'm using four colors of embroidery floss as you can see and once you get to that part where it goes between your toe, I'm actually wrapping that as well and put a little bit of glue on there just to hold it in place better. Let it all dry and then they're ready to wear. That's it for flip flop style number one. This second pair of flip flops is totally out there and it might not be something for everyone, but I'm sure that there's at least some young people who you can make these for if it's not your style. What you're going to do for this is cut a bunch of pieces of fabric. And if you don't have any fabric or just wanna do a different look, you can also tie ribbons around your flip-flop or even water balloons, which I'll show you very soon. I'm using five colors of fabric and I got this pack from Walmart. I'm just going to be cutting strips, a ton of strips. In my case, I used about 70 strips of fabric per flip-flop. As you can see, mine are a little bit over five inches long and anywhere between three-fourths of an inch to an inch wide. It doesn't really matter how perfect you get them. You just want them to be around the same size. Once you have all your fabric strips cut, then it's time to tie, 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 and tie. I'm taking a strip of fabric and I'm tying it around the flip-flop once, and then I'm taking that same strip of fabric and just double knotting it, so I'm putting two knots in each piece of fabric. And then you're just going to keep tying and tying and tying and tying until you have the entire pair of flip-flops covered, or, as you can tell by this design here, I used some water balloons to tie around the flip-flop and I actually just put them along this front part so it saves on time and it gives you a totally different look. You can definitely do this with the fabric or ribbon as well. The great thing about these is that you can actually wear them to the pool because you don't have to worry about getting them wet. Design number four is the easiest one yet, but arguably one of the most elegant. All you're going to do is use some strong glue to attach a bow or a flower. For design number five, I tied some paracord around the strap of the flip-flop. I'm not going to lie to you guys, paracord is not the most comfortable thing in the world. So if you're going for comfort, you could definitely try to do this with some type of yarn or cord that's softer. 
But if you want the paracord look, here's how you do it. First, you'll need to measure a whole lot of paracord. I do this by wrapping the paracord almost all the way around the flip-flop, and then I'm going to grab it at the end to mark that measurement. Once you have that, you can fold the paracord back on itself to match that length five more times. So basically, once you wrap the paracord around the flip-flop once, you're multiplying that length by six. You don't actually have to do any math here, you just have to fold it onto itself to match it. Now find the middle of that giant paracord strand that you cut. You're going to place the middle on the outside of the flip-flop. Put the middle around the strap and hold on to the two ends. I'm taking the right piece of paracord. Make sure some's hanging off to form a loop, but you're going to just pull that on top of the strap and hold it there. So the end of it should be hanging over to the left. Now grab your left piece of paracord and you're gonna bring that on top of the right piece, but then you're going to grab it and put it underneath the flip-flop strap and up through the loop on the right. Once you pull tight, you'll see that there's a little bump on the left side. This means that you're going to take the left strand and repeat the same step. So you're kind of forming a loop and bringing it over the strap of the flip-flop to the right. Then you're grabbing the right piece of cord and you're bringing it on top of that left piece. Once it's over the piece, you're going to pull it under the strap and through the loop like so. Pull tight and then repeat this on the right side again because that's where the little bump is. Repeat this step along the entire strap of the flip-flop. And if you ever mess up on a stitch, don't worry because it's really easy to just take it out and try again. Once you get to the front of the flip-flop, it might look a little bit intimidating, but I promise you, if you just keep trying, it will work because I messed it up a couple times when I first did this and I'm like, it's okay, I'm gonna do it, and I did it. So this is just what you do. You just follow the same step and make sure that when you're pulling the side through the loop, you put it underneath the strap of the flip-flop and then pull it up through the loop. When you get to the end, you're going to cut your paracord and then you're going to light it on fire. For this step, you need to be really, really, really careful. And as you can see, my lighter ran out of juice, so I'm gonna have to finish these later. I definitely recommend using a big, long lighter like this one for paracord creations. I'm sure that you could get by with this one, but I am too darn afraid to even try it because I think I'm gonna burn myself. Flip flap design number six, and you can see I only got one of these done. Anyway, it is ribbon wrapped with a flower embellishment in the center. To make this, all you're going to do is the exact same thing that you did with the embroidery floss on the very first style of flip flop. So you're just going to glue and wrap ribbon around this, wait for it to dry, and then you're going to put something in the center if you wish. So pretty. Design number seven is pretty much the same as six, except you're gonna do a couple of different things in the front. So once you've wrapped the entire strap with ribbon, you're going to cut some short pieces of ribbon and glue them across the front like I'm doing here. Then you can take a long piece of ribbon and I'm gonna glue it on and then just wrap it around however I need to to just fill this space in so I can wrap it across, I can wrap it 
going opposite directions, just do anything you need to to get this filled in, like I said, and definitely take your time. I was rushing because this was my last design that I filmed and I was rushing to get it ready for this video. So definitely do a better job than I did. Once you've done that, you can take some beads or pearls and just glue them on to the ribbon. It actually would be more sturdy if you sewed them, but I didn't have time for that. Flip-flop design number eight is just gluing on rhinestones. You can also glue on studs or buttons or anything else you want. Get super creative with this. Here I have a pair of really wild stripey flip-flops that I got from Target. And all I did was take some rhinestones that kind of match the colors of the stripes and I glued those to the flip-flop strap. The final design I want to tell you guys about that I didn't get to because I don't have a scarf is to get a decorative scarf and you cut it in half and then you kind of wrap it around the flip flop. You can use any kind of fabric really but it just has to be long enough to wrap around the middle of the flip flop all the way up the straps and then you'll have a ton left over and you can tie it around your legs. It looks really cool so look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me know which pair of flip flops I made is your absolute fave. Tell me in the comment section below. And if you end up making your own pair of flip flops, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me a picture of your creation. Watch my other shoe decorating videos by checking out the links in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please share it with your friends, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Last week on Crafty Friday, because you guys know that I put out a crafty video every single Friday, right? Well, I do. It's called Crafty Friday. And last week, as I was saying, I did a video on how to make polymer clay caramel apple charms. And they're super cute. They were submitted to me by you guys, the viewers. So here's the photos that I received on my Instagram, as well as my Facebook fan page and my Twitter. Thank you guys for sending those photos in to me. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. You can do pretty easily on your own. Dust. Oh, there's a hair on this one. Friends is on, and I really, 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 really want to watch it, but I'm filming. Hopefully, there's a design for everyone. Cannot talk. Am I flabby flabby? Out of juice.